He wants to be able to have him useful in the game, not just Malachi Corley out there. Another third down situation here. They're going to dump it off here to Irvin Poindexter. Down to the 10. Looking for the pylon. Did he get there? Touchdown. 18 yards. Davion Irvin Poindexter going airborne to get in the end zone for the Hilltoppers. And definitely saving a red zone drive where they needed the seven and not the three. And call on your running backs, man. The running backs coming through, not just the receiver. It'll be a 45-yarder. He's got the leg for it. The kick is up. And it's just inside the left upright. And it is good. There's the Blue Raiders trying to get their first points of this rivalry matchup. And a little chip shot is good. So Middle Tennessee on the scoreboard here. Corley's out for this third down play. Third down and eight. Reed looking towards the end zone. Fires. Got him! Easton Messers got it for the touchdown. Austin Reed threads the needle. Austin Reed's one of the best quarterbacks in the country. We just said he was thrown off his back foot. This time, the next play, he plants his back foot. When you're on your side of the field the whole time, it doesn't make it easy. So explosive plays has to be talked about going into the half. Pass over the middle is caught. Kalani Norris, the Georgia Tech transfer. Ball gets loose into the hands of Western Kentucky. It's something that need a longer discussion with an official about what a catch is, but nevertheless, half yard line. First and goal here for the Hilltoppers, and they're just going to go Tom Brady style. Austin Reed on the sneak into the end zone for the touchdown. This is what you love. Tough running by the quarterback. Put the team on your back. You live and die by the quarterback. Now this is their second trip. First one resulted in a field goal. Ball carriers pees it, finds some room, gets to the outside, moving towards the end zone, trying to toe tap in there. Did he get there? Yes, he did. Touchdown, Middle Tennessee. 16 yards on the scamper for Frank Pizen, his first touchdown of the season. Tackle you or make big plays on you. You're supposed to punish them like he did to finish this run, and this is a deserving touchdown by the running back Pizzi, who's been chugging along all drive. Six yard pickup on first down, second and four here for the Raiders. Mariano looking, tipped again, and it is intercepted. Bryson Washington hauls it in after the tip ball at the line of scrimmage. And Nick Fadiato can't believe it. With active hands on the D-line. If you can't get there, put your hands up. Put your hands up. And just what a one-handed snag. Reed firing right side. Double coverage. It's intercepted. Trey Fluellen's got it. Takes a hit at the 35 and brought down. And just like that, the Blue Raiders have it right back. Third down and one, under six minutes to go. Hand off again. Oh, look at that leap. Look at that extra effort. Into the end zone. Touchdown, Elijah Young. 14 yards. Western Kentucky may have put the finishing touches on their fifth straight win of the series. Explosive play by Elijah Young. He got the outside. Both defenders got caught inside. Hey, when you duck your head, you, you, you're losing contact with the defender and man Elijah Young doing a great job of being a playmaker in a means where they had to score and that's how you punch it in right there across hey. the plane of the end zone can't be too loud on that one <laughs> <laughs> Davion Irvin Poindexter in the backfield Reed fires to the end zone in the back of it nobody there for Dalvin Smith and the two point try is good Western Kentucky with a 21 point advantage now that's some hard stuff to do. Only stuntmen in movies can do something like that. And he was able to make the play and continue to drive. Seven yards on first down, firing towards the end zone, and that is intercepted. Tacove Williams comes out of nowhere and picks it off. Just take as much time off of this clock as possible. And right up the gut, it's LT Sanders. Big gain across midfield and finally brought down. After getting inside Blue Raider territory, Jacoby Thomas, the ones that stop a touchdown, perhaps. Tyson Helton calling his team over to the sideline here. As this one's going to tick down. And after the final play of the game, the pushing and shoving continued. And, and that's it. We do get handshakes and a hug from the two head coaches here, Rick Stockstill.